The thing a lot of people don't get about the federal budget is it's actually made up of two kinds of spending, mandatory and discretionary. When we hear Congress debating the budget, the only part that they can change is discretionary spending. Mandatory spending is set in stone and can only be changed by changing the programs that make it up. Programs like Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and payments on the national debt. Think of federal spending like a $100 budget. We get bills for the house, for the car, groceries, kids' education, toy rockets, so on and so forth. And if President Obama serves two terms, by the time the next president gets into office, it'll look something like this. The pile of bills on the right is mandatory spending. And the money on the left is discretionary spending split up by departments. By then, mandatory spending will be the 800-pound gorilla that eats 70% of our budget and will beat us to death if we don't feed it. We can cancel all the other departments and agencies, but we have to feed the mandatory gorilla. And if we do nothing at all to fix mandatory spending, the next president's going to have to get rid of the following departments just to balance the budget. Department of Education, Department of Labor, State Department, Department of Energy, Homeland Security, NASA, Health and Human Services, Veterans Affairs, Treasury, Environmental Protection Agency, Department of Justice, Department of Transportation, Department of Interior, Department of Agriculture, Department of Agency, Social Security Administration, Housing and Urban Development, Department of Agriculture, Department of Agency. Basically, if whoever's president in eight years wants to balance the budget, he or she would have to get rid of everything but the Army and the Air Force. President Obama says he has a solution to this. It's to buy a baby gorilla, name it Bubbles, and put it in charge of health care. Baby gorillas are really cute, but they usually grow into adult gorillas who will, as we've mentioned, beat you to death unless you feed them. I can't tell you exactly how big the healthcare entitlement will get because it doesn't have an expiration date. It just keeps growing. I have to admit, I'm a little confused about how adding another entitlement program is going to reduce federal spending, so I assume it has something to do with black holes or quantum flux. Possibly also time travel. 